This is Wisdom Wednesday number 13 and today's topic is from lack to prosperity. Here's a question. I am struggling financially these days. I lost my job months ago and this seems to happen to me a fair bit. I get a job and then I lose it. Or I'm in a nice home something happens and I can't stay there. Friends find a reason to leave me. I feel alone and needy for help but even when help comes it doesn't seem to be the help that will get me out of this pattern of losing the important things in life or the important people in my life. What's going on with me? Okay, the, that's a, yeah, I can see that some people would be experiencing this and you're, you might be one of them. That maybe perhaps in a certain area of your life, you are feeling um, that it's just not uh, happening for you. You feel like um, you get something and then it falls away, it slips away from your fingers. Um, and you might feel that in different aspects of your life, say money might be one, a job, a home, uh, friends. Um, so it's sort of like you're, you're needy for it and it's, you think you have it and then when you have it, it falls away again. So it's a, a, a pattern of it falling away when you, when you get it. So, so the question you're asking is, well, what's going on with me? Well, what's going on with you is that you're focused on lack. You're focused on, I'm empty. I don't have. You're focused on I am separate, everybody else has, and I don't have. That's where your attention is. And um, that is a belief. It's a, it's a state of mind that you're in. It's a belief. And what is a belief? A belief is that, like say for instance, you have, um, I don't deserve to have that. Or, Every time I get that, it falls away from me. Uh, I won't get that. I'd love to have it, but I'll never get it. These are, these are beliefs that you have. And when you have a belief, you're in this, this kind of belief, you're already setting the foundation of emptiness. So here you are, you're in this basket of emptiness, and you're trying to get something to fill you up. And so what you do is you grasp. You want something and you kind of, see how you're kind of grasping in the air? Well, the thing that you're grasping is also empty because you're already thinking you don't have. So that's why it feels like in your life that you have something and then it slips away. You don't have it, so you don't feel grounded in that fullness. So remember that your true nature is whole and complete, right? Remember? So what is it that's stopping you from attaining what you want? It slips away from you. So when you grasp for something, you're grasping in the air. You're grasping nothing. You're an illusion, really, is what you're grasping because you're already started off with the sense that I am empty. So how are you going to turn this around from grasping emptiness and end up with more emptiness and to a new place? Well, you turn it around by focusing on that the universe is whole and complete. I am whole and complete. I am as large as the universe. So what's the difference here? Well, when you focus on I am as large as the universe, think about the universe. The universe has absolutely everything in it. It has all prosperity. It has everything. Anything you 
would possibly imagine desiring, it's all there. And when you look around, somebody else looks like they have money in their pocket. And the thing is, when you're connected to the universe, you also have money in that pocket, in the same pocket, the pocket of the universe. So in this, if someone else can reach for money, it's because money is there. If you reach for money, it's because money is there. Because you're already knowing you're connected and one with the whole of the universe. So what's the difference here? When you're coming from a place of lack, you feel disconnected. You're cut off from the whole. That means you can't, you can't receive that money over there. But when you're coming from the place that I am one with the universe, that means you're coming from a place of interconnectivity. So how do you get this? How do you actually imbibe this and change your whole state of mind? Well, you change it by when you sit to meditate, you focus on how you're connected to everything. So say my skin st stops here and the next object st is over there. But when I meditate, my eyes seem to see that my skin stops here. But in my meditation, I'm knowing that I actually am larger than where my skin ends. I'm, I can grow out to that. I'm starting to sense and feel and know that that thing next to me is also part of who I am. I am large. I am big. I start to expand and feel that I am connected to everything. So that means whatever is over there will be here. So if there's money in someone else's pocket, there's money in my pocket because it's the one same big universal pocket. Um, if, if you're having trouble holding a job down, well, just think about there's lots of jobs out there and the universe is full of jobs. So it's not about I'm separate and I can't have my job. It's that there's always, there's many, many jobs out there and I will access it when it's appropriate to access it. In the same way when it comes to a home. If you're coming from a place of having to move around all the time because you can't seem to settle and find your own home, well, the universe is full of homes and you're welcome in all of those homes because it's your big universal home. It's a way of thinking, right? It's like I'm connected, I am everywhere, as opposed to I, I can't have that, I can't have this, I'm, I don't belong to that. Da, 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 da. It's a different way of thinking. And now, if you have this perspective that I am whole and complete and one with the universe and I have everything, I have access to everything, then what will happen with your friends? They'll start to see you differently. Perhaps before they saw that they were drained by you, that you were too needy, too graspy, too empty inside, you had nothing to offer them. Now, you're in a completely different state of mind you're in the state where you have too much to give. You have lots to give. So what's going to happen? They're, wanting, they're going to want to be with you because you're whole and complete. You have everything. You know how to manifest what you want in life because you are connected. So they're going to want to learn from you. Instead of you going to them and asking for help, they're going to start coming to you and saying, what's your secret? You have a secret. What allows you to create whatever you want in your life? And so what you're going to say to them is, when you meditate, uh, focus on connectivity. Also, you're going to say to them, start to appreciate where you are connected and whole. Start to appreciate what is working for you in your life. Start to appreciate that over here in a certain part of my life, I am whole, I am abundant, I am prosperous. And that appreciation is the secret of connectivity. When you start to appreciate it grows and then you start to feel that, yeah, the pocket of money over there is my pocket, so it's starting to enter into my pocket as well. 
So now you have the secret how to go from lack to prosperity. Meditate on connectivity that you are as large as the universe. Thank you for today's Wisdom Wednesday and see you next Wednesday. Bye.